and the unavoidable material needs to be back to material recovery partner. Plastic to plastic recycle, and uh, ultimately it is uh, possible to use limited amount of waste to energy recovery vessels, but uh, try to maximize material recycling. This is the way uh, to achieve the waste, and uh, as you can see, best utilization of resources is good for money, for people, and good for our supplier, and of course, ultimately, environmental impact is reduced. So, business efficiency in terms of cost and environmental footprint can be reduced. And for that, we need to work together. People and the supplier need to work together because we understand supplier is business partner to get a good business result mutually. So, for that, uh, we achieve fast in this process in Deco that uh, copy and paste to our upper stream suppliers to do the same. In the in, entire supply chain, if we do this, it is good for society. <laughs> so that's why we educate more people to do the same. Thank you. Hi, uh, Dennis Khan. I'm from EHS Solutions Singapore. Uh, I would like to uh, ask you, uh, you have talked about uh, your relationship with uh, your suppliers. How about Rico and your own employees? It means uh, how is your employee a uh, sustainable lifestyle or behavior mm -hmm. that you think that uh, we should copy or learn? I see. There are two ways. One is top to down, and the other approach is bottom up from employee to upper management. And the first uh, for top to down is uh, we have include, included uh, some parameter of environmental exercises into some management indicator. So, for example, uh, finance, uh, marketing, R&D, logistics, whoever, uh, what part of uh, business they are engaged, regardless of whatever they are doing, uh, management include five to ten percentage of uh, indicator is environmental related. So in other words, sales organization achieve blue mark of sales target, they are not able to get the 100 percentage appreciation. And if we neglect environmental exercise, they are not able to have a full score. So in other words, environmental uh, aspect is included in the appreciation of the organization. And the other is bottom up. So environmental sustainability exercise needs to be encouraged by employee. Uh, for example, some, something seminar opportunity for them to study something. Uh, uh, we can provide something seminar opportunity for them to participate. Uh, so that they can be a leader of the local community. We can give the opportunity and we can support them to do this type of local activity. So like this say, bottom up or top down and also sharing the communication, uh, environmental conference and the information sharing internally one company to the other, that sort of things are different ways. Thank you. Uh, I'm Ruby Shang from the Clinton Foundation. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Kagiyama. I was wondering, I have two questions. First, I'm very interested in learning that you work with the US EPA in the United States. And is that customary for many Japanese companies? And if so, where do you also work with other uh, institute, governmental institutions in other countries? Yes, uh, you, I have been in the U.S. for 15 years, so I have a close communication with the U.S. EPA. Uh, the important things is, uh, for example, government sector is one of them, or uh, independent, uh, like a consumer union, consumer report. Or in our industry, various laboratory is external, uh, let's say, testing organization to evaluate products from different OEM to consumer, uh, so that the consumer can understand which product is better. 
So the key point is uh, those government policy maker side or something such as test travel has been less educated about the technology innovation and what is real capability or what is real latest technology available for uh, energy saving resource conservation. That sort of communication is very much important. And the uh, US is saying maybe uh, Masayo had a communication with Singapore uh, Environmental uh, Council uh, to jointly develop with Singapore Eco Label and also Eco Office Certification System. And uh, so, key point is how we can visualize environmental friendly office, environmental friendly products, how technology has been innovated uh, so that the customer can use new products, new equipment with less electricity, less water, less resources engaged. That sort of communication is important. So every place is we are doing the same. So one part is uh, without waiting for the actual regulation or program to be completed, then we react, that's too late. Sometimes new regulation is non-realistic, to be honest, because of they are pretty much innocent. Uh, but uh, by communicating, challenging, but the uh, feasible problem can be developed. So in that sense, uh, it is working in different Europe is working closely with European Union. US is working uh, closely with US EPA or DOE Department of Energy. And uh, sometimes people separately communicate with, uh, with those government sector. And uh, sometimes we go through industry organizations like the ITI. ITI is uh, Information Technology Industry Council, working together with HP or Lexmark or other OEM manufacturer to suggest policy like a site. So various ways of communication is made so that uh, uh, policy maker, maker can develop realistic, feasible, and uh, the challenging programs. Like this way, we can participate to that sort of program uh, very early stage so that we can support this type of program. So that is our way of business working together with policy makers in different world sectors. Uh, my name is Samuel Lim. I'm from uh, London NCR Generation. Um, I'd like to stretch a little further to say that uh, we could, do you have uh, any uh, similar uh, lesson to learn, for example, from Kodak. When they have they have been surviving on paper print all the while, mm -hmm. and then now digital, and they did, they did not survive actually. Mm -hmm. So is Rico thought about this? You know how? Because if you say the ease of use, efficiency, and so on, may lead to more printing. You know, it's so convenient. Yeah. Print everything. Mm -hmm. So. Is, is this being addressed in, in recording? Yes. Um, as we explained, uh, we, in the past, we have a single function. Uh, copy is copy, print, printer is print. Print is made by printer. And uh, digitalizing the uh, hard copy is made by scanner. So independent single function device is required. But uh, our goal is to digitalize the image to reduce output. So that's why uh, scanner function or fax function can be built in a single device. So when we start thinking of this kind of multi-function device, of course internally there is something hesitation. If we can sell printer, copy, scanner, fax, our revenue is like this much, but uh, if we combine everything into a single unit and the scanning function becomes very popular, our income may be reduced because the uh, image is digitalized. Instead of delivering hard copy, we can deliver electronic file and when needed, they will print. In this way of uh, business model, we can reduce output and this is harming our business. 
there is something such a negative discussion. But if we stay in that way of tradition, 